Hi guys, we are back with another edition of Big Al's All Access. Now, before we talk about this week's complimentary selection this Saturday, Al, let's talk about last week. Now, what's interesting about last week, and I'm pulling up the account because, as you know, I play every one of the games that <laughs> you give me. I made, and I want to thank you for this. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> $40,150. I won 1000 on Tuesday. You didn't have any plays on Monday. I won 1000 on Wednesday. But here's the kicker. I lost 8250 on Thursday. We, you didn't hear a peep out of me. I know the game. No emotion. Big deal. 8250 Now, for you watchers, I'm betting on a $100,000 account. So my, my bankroll is obviously different then your bankroll. Friday, you had no plays. Saturday, you win 15-5. I win 15-5 at my account. But Sunday, I win. Sunday was pretty good. 30,900. So for the end of the week, $40,150. Even though I had that Thursday that I lost what I call 8.25%. So for all the professional bettors out there watching this video and for the guys that want to be professional bettors, we always talk about our money management. Winning and losing is part of the game. You've said it a thousand times. Back to your ESPN article over a decade ago. But you can have the best database in the world. You can have the best analysis in the world. You can have the best syndicate groups that you respect in the world. You and I can agree, though, no one's going to make money if they don't have the right money management. Yeah, I mean, that's 100% true. Um, you know, whenever I talk to my clients, when, in fact, I talked to one today, I just was telling them like, consistency, like whatever you choose to do, stick with it. You don't jump around. So if you're betting, you know, X amount of dollars a play, and then you do well, or you do poorly, you don't change the amount because you're always going to fall victim to your emotions, and you're always going to make the wrong decision. So you have to be consistent in whatever you do and be disciplined. And what is your, do you have a sweet spot, like the 1% risk or are you a more aggressive? Like what That's, do you No, know? I think, I think I'm a high volume guy. So 1% risk is where, where I am. Right. I'm going to send this to you four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So here's what's kill What's killer about your system. So for all the listeners that always talk about win loss percentages, and this is the thing, Al, I always say this. Each stock in the stock market has a different price and each game has a different value with the unit betting system that you employ. So on Saturday, you made, you made me 15,500. But what I'm not telling you is what your win loss record was. But I will tell everybody now what your win loss record was. You had 10 wins. I repeat 10 wins and you had 12 losses. You were 10 and 12 on 22 games, but you were plus 15.5 units. So this is what I try to explain to the client as opposed to just betting every game for the same. Because if I tell someone I made 15,000 on Saturday, they go, oh, that's amazing. But I, they might think I went 90%, Al. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, I, I, I rate the games and obviously you want to hit the big games. Um, some games are more important than others, and, and I do hit the big games. So, you know, Sunday, like, all the big games hit. So, it's really good. Well, so Sunday, back to the volume, low volume. One, two, three, four, five, five, and one. So, here on Saturday, you had 22 plays, and you went 10 and 12, making 15,500 at a dime, at following the dime per unit strategy. And then on, sat, on Sunday, you only had six games, and you went five and one but you make $30,900. So we can agree that the volume is always going to be more in collegiate sports than the NBA because, I mean, you're very rarely are you going to play every NFL game on the board. Can we agree on that? And maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, although this, although this Sunday I've got 10 in the NFL. Um, right. You know, so it's going to be a big Sunday. Exactly. So for guys that are listening, like I said, forget about money management in terms of win-loss percentages. 10 and 12 on Saturday, he makes 15,000. A dime per unit better makes 15,500. Sunday, he goes five and one, 
and he makes 30,900. You really should have won that um that Chargers game. You you almost swept the board. Ugh. You almost swept the board just to say you swept the board. But let's talk about this Saturday. What do you got going this Saturday as a complimentary selection? Well, for people who are going to be awake at midnight, I'm going to look at the San Jose State Hawaii game out on Wait, the midnight island. for um, me, nine o'clock for you. Right. Um, you know, the, the Spartans come into this game off back to back blowout wins. Two weeks ago, they blew out New Mexico 52 24. And then last week, they routed Utah State 42 21. And now they're going to play a Hawaii team, which is defensively challenged to say the least. The Rainbow Warriors have given up more than 40 points in each of their last three games. And for the season, their defense is surrendering 36.3 points per game. And that bodes well for San Jose because college football teams off back-to-back blowout wins by more than 20 points. They've gone 105 and 49 versus conference foes that have a porous defense that allows 35 or more points per game. And Eric, although there's nothing wrong with 105 and 49, I wouldn't kick that win percentage out of bed. We can improve our win percentage to 29 and 3 ATS. 90.6% by just doing one thing, and that's focusing on teams that are not laying more than 14 points. Oh, I thought you were going to say just subscribe to you. I thought that was the one. Yeah, so if we we eliminate all the the games that are favored by more than 14 and we focus on the smaller point spreads, we go from 105 and 49 all the way to 29 and 3. San Jose is favored by 10 and a half. I'm going to lay the points. There you have it, guys. This is your complimentary selection. If you're a high net worth individual and you're looking to pick out, pick up, excuse me, not out, Al's all access program, by all means, send me a text message to the number below on the screen, 775-636-7676. Now, sure, you could go online and buy his premium plays and get a whole slew of all his games, but you're not going to get the comprehensive money management system. So for an example, Al, if somebody purchased your plays non-rated on Saturday, they actually have a losing day versus the unit rating system takes you to a profitable day on the same games on the same day. Yeah, that's right. It's it's And this is, again, as, as Eric mentioned, this is for guys who can bet a lot of money. This isn't for $50 players. But if you're a dime player, if you can bet 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 games, then just text Big Al uh, to us. And uh, it. yeah, we'll chat with you about it. Exactly. 775-636-7676. You can actually turn a losing day on the win-loss into a winning day when you send me that text. Good day and good luck.